Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Stasis Table Lamp. This is going to be the 272665. There's also another version of this that has a very large drum shade on it, and there are two floor lamps. Check them out too. One with a uh, drum shade, one with the matching glass to this, and they all go together beautifully. So let's get into details on this. This is 28 and a quarter inches high, and that's going to be from the table to the very top, which is going to be just above here. Uh, the base on it, eight and a half inches. That's going to be the width, and that's going to be the bottom part in the front, and then 12 and a half, or actually 12 and a quarter inches is going to be front to back. The bottom of this, I'm going to show it to you because a lot of people always want to have that question. You can see how, oops, hold on there. You can see how the cord actually comes out of a tube that's welded to the back of this front plate, so that deposits it right underneath, and you can have the cord running in either side. So that's how that kind of all works. It's something you don't really see in the, see in the photographs, right? Um, let's get into more detail on this. Let's get into what's inside, because that's what you guys are really going to want to know about. This is using a medium base socket, which is this one that we all grew up with, OK? Just a regular screw-in socket. You can use an incandescent bulb if you want to. If you're going to go for incandescence, that's going to be 100 watt max because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. If you guys want to go LED, there's no limit other than can the bulb get into the glass on this. And this is a pretty big piece of glass. Right now I have in, this is probably a 40 or a 60. This is a 40 watt equivalent, really old LED that I've got bounding around. These are somewhat newer ones. This is an A19. This is an A20. That's just the size of the bulbs. And I know the A20, let's try that out, is going to work great in here. Again, really no limit when it comes to um, the bulb other than, here we go, can it, can it get in the glass? And pretty much everything can because a, a, A20s are you know pretty large bulbs in the light bulb world. Uh, but the nice thing about them is this smaller A19 I can find in a 60 watt, 75 watt, 100 watt equivalent. But this A20 I can find in a 150 watt equivalent. So I can really get a lot of light out of this. So that answers the question, is this a good reading lamp? And yes, it is a good reading lamp. Here are my notes, and you can see I can read beautifully on this. You can also dim it down. There's a dimmer right at the top, so you can dim it down and make it just a nice little glow. I'll bring it down to there, and, uh, and you're good to go on that. I talk about the color of light all the time when you're buying LEDs. When you go out into the world and buy your LEDs, either in a hardware store or online, remember you've got different colors of light coming down. This light coming down on my hands is 3,000 Kelvin. That's a warm white, and that's what this is too. So this is considered, this is 3,000 Kelvin as well. <clears throat> Some people like that cooler daylight. That's 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin, okay? So that's the cooler light. This is the warmer light. Higher the number, cooler the light. Lower the number on the Kelvin scale, it's going to be warmer light. On the, on the uh, side of the box, you're going to notice that they have a little chart, and they have the number down here for warm, cold, and, and whatever the bulb you're buying in the box, there could be a, there's going to be a little arrow pointing to where it is on this. And this is a 3,000 Kelvin. So just remember that. Again, it's a dimmable fixture. You saw that I dimmed it beautifully. Here we go. Back up again. And we're back down again. And you are good to go. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the Finishes Help Guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video. So scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, 
And I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video. So it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardton Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's gonna be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section, check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardton Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor, measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're gonna fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardson Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets, are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.